Hey, what's up, guys? It's your boy, King Boys Productions, and I'm back at it once again with The Wolf Among Us. Let's get into it. Episode 4. I'm excited to see what goes on. So how's everyone doing today? Can't oh. afford to look human. Wow. You're going to the farm. It's as simple as that. Do you have any idea how much it costs to have an entire family in glamour? I can't finish the mirror. It's missing a piece. Crane must have taken a shard with him. The open arms. Enjoy your stay. Right, right, right. Thanks, okay. All right, we know all this thanks stuff. Thanks for covering for me last time, too. Big B? How could you do this to me? I guess I finally see you for who you are. Oh, this dude tried to body me and I just beat the hell out of him. No, you know. I don't think he did it. What? Look at him. Do you really think this man murdered these women? Yo, this is when I went full wolf mode on him. I really murdered him though. And she shot me with a silver bullet. But, you know. Just take him, okay? Take Crane. I'm so mad. So mad. Beautiful relationship we have with you guys. Really. I mean it. I really did all that for nothing, too. In with the new. Screw you. Alright, let's get back into it. Dang, my arm healed that fast? Or has it been a few days? Yeah, who is coming? Dragging along like a thing. Oh. Oh, gosh. Who is this? Oh. It was just a nightmare. <clears throat> Hollow point bullets are a nasty business. Oh my gosh. So slug deformed and shredded on impact. He'll be okay, though. Hmm? He'll be okay? His internal organs are positively riddled. If I don't extract every single scrap of silver, he's liable to suffer some long-term toxicosis. Then get it out. Easy there. Try not to move. Jesus. This way, old boy. I figured I'd be done before you were conscious. Swinehart, how bad is it? Well, not the worst I've seen, but damn near. It's pretty it. bad. Say, you're testing even my oh my here. gosh. Please, Big B, don't move. It. Stop, Big B. Look, I'm a bit engaged saving his life at the moment. But if the fractured extremity concerns him that much, he can set it himself. Oh my god. Oh. Ew, 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 ew. Oh. Oh. Oh, that's so gross. Could you imagine having to do this? Oh. 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 Oh my god, that's so disgusting. Ew. Hmm. Not bad. That'll do, I suppose. He's lucky to be alive. And he won't be Think it out of here, Oinkers. He going like this. He didn't listen to me before. Maybe he'll listen to you. Heck no. I don't know about that. Well, he should. This is the job. Quiet. Just relax. Oh, man. <laughs> Thanks, Doc. You're a real lifesaver. Get it? Lifesaver? Excuse me, Miss White, but perhaps it'd be better if you gave me a few minutes to finish with him. Right, get out of the way, Snow. I, I Trying think to I get stay, out of his light. At least until he's out of the woods. Believe me, Bigby couldn't be in better hands, and I need the space to work. So, don't worry, Snow. I'll be okay. We'll be yeah, Oikers is here. Just please give us. Porky Pig is here. What is his name, Henry? Hey, Doc, how much longer? Colin, leave him. Oh, be. Colin. It's finished when it's finished. Hey, Colin? Because I no, once watched out. a vet sew a turtle together in ten minutes flat. 
Colin, you're not even supposed to be here right now. Oh, really? Where am I supposed to be? Colin, shut the hell up, will you? <laughs> <laughs> yes, that would be helpful. Dang, Colin, stupid piggy. Little piggy, little piggy, let me in. All done. Great. This isn't a habit you should keep to. Having visits with me. And, well, this time... This Dang, time he really bandaged joke. me up so fast. <laughs> so how fast those bandages? You wrap them around? Silver round near your heart. And the only place I'll be visiting you is the morgue. Miss White. He'll be fine for light duty. Okay, so my bone is just fine. Means. He knows what it means. I just like push it back into place and it's all of a sudden just fine. A couple of days. I know. But please okay. don't give him the excuse. His body will eventually give out. Take care of him. Please. I will. He'll need rest. Hey, time baby soon. girl, Sleep snow. Up, so. Just keep watch and make sure he doesn't get into further altercations. Snow has enough to deal with, Swineheart. I can take care of myself. Clearly. I have Colin Anyways, with me. <laughs> he can help me. As they say. Miss White? Sheriff? Colin. Swiney. <laughs> My man's just about to walk out with all that blood on his arms. That's going to look a little suspicious, don't you think? Even for a doctor. Ooh, some booze. So... How do you, um, feel? Feel fine. It's Bigby, Snow. He'll be okay. Hell, I've seen him take worse. Not as good as can be expected, I think. So, not well, then. Ha, <laughs> you're so funny, Colin. Shut up. You had us... <clears throat> you had us worried there for a while. Man, Colin wasn't worried. He would have just you been like, have... I'm Colin. You stopped breathing, you know. When you passed out, or, or died, I guess. Don't touch my arm, girl. What you doing? It, it's um, fractured. It kind of scared the hell out of me. Ooh, you worried about me, Snow? I've never seen you like that. And when Swineheart arrived... Snow, I'd never leave you. Hey. Yeah, you were really fucked up, man. Dang, Colin, bro. Cock block. Limbs the wrong way. Bro, Colin, real cock block, bro. I'm just saying, I was That's not even cool, was Colin. The guy hasn't had a night's rest in days. Well, I'll get some rest when this whole thing is done. What whole thing? What's even happening out there? I mean, do you guys have like a plan or something? I don't care, Colin. Shut the hell up and clean and up this crap. who should I be asking? Snow's the boss. She'll know what's best for the community. I have another shirt that's the okay. exact same. The crooked man came out of the shadows for a reason. For him to attack us so blatantly like that. He either feels invincible or desperate. Well, if those are my two options, I don't think I'd pick desperate. What do you mean? You traded Crane to save Bigby. I'm just saying, that's not exactly something you do when you're playing with house money. Yeah, about that. Giving up Crane to save my skin really made us look weak. That made us look weak? Uh, oh. But not Mary shooting you and holding an axe to your big head. Uh, what was I supposed to do? I'm not saying it was a good Did they shoot you, Snow? Just no. So shut your mouth. Without all the uh, bargaining at the end. The crooked man's going to think. Uh, oh. care what Snow, thinks. bro. I always option. say the wrong thing that Snow gets mad at me. All I care about right now is... Just what does the crooked man want out of this? I thought he was just a lone shark, but clearly he's operating in other circles. It can't just be about Crane, right? Getting him out of town? Is this all about the murders? Crane can't be useful to him anymore. You know, I couldn't really give a shit what they want out of this. They just made the wrong fucking enemy. Heck yeah, they did. Remember what Swineheart said, okay? Girl, I don't care what Swineheart said. I'm about to go. Declared war against us last Yes, he night. did. At least that's what I thought when it happened. That's exactly but what now happened. now I see this war has been going on for years. We just haven't noticed it because our way of doing things is broken. We need to do things the right way. What does that mean? The right, right way. What does that what mean, do you girl? think I mean? I don't know, but it suspiciously sounds like your way. Look... 
I know things haven't gone great recently, but Dang. we're still doing I hate the college. Best. That's not good enough. So, uh. starting now, we do everything cut and dried, by the book, straight as an arrow. Pure oh, resolve and snow. I'm not saying I'm the arbiter of Sure you're not. This town has enough monsters. What happened last night, what you turned into, it can't happen again. We huh. need monsters to fight monsters. Right. We're under attack, Snow. What did you expect me to do? There are degrees. Oh my God, Snow. I only ever do what's necessary. Right. Really? Dang. Well, if that's the case, please explain to Colin why tearing Dumb's throat out was necessary. <laughs> Because I fucking felt like it, okay? I wanted to destroy something. Is that what you want to hear? No, Big B. It isn't. Look, Big B, I care about how <laughs> this is done. Just I really as did rip his throat out. So That's that, so crazy. Like the bad guys will worry if shit gets sloppy. Everybody wants Big B to smile hmm. and shave and take a shower now and then. Hell, I'm practically the president of the Big B. Don't be such a dick. Okay, Colin. Well, at I, least I someone you. understands. Thanks, Colin. He'll get the job done. Just let him do it. I'm going to... I'm going to let you do it. Okay? Colin, thank you, bro. It's just that... Backing me up for now once. Now that I'm deputy mayor, I need your respect. <sighs> and this situation has to end. What situation? All unglamored fables starting today have to go and stay at the farm. Oh, give me a fucking break. Yo, come on. Are you I don't gonna like... let her talk to me like that? It's been the rule for a reason, Colin. Look, everyone just calm down, all right? I'm perfectly calm. I'm not. Tell Colin. me right now, what's it gonna be, Bigby? Answer the phone. Why is there so many cigarettes? Holy crap, Buff he smokes a lot of cigarettes. That's rude. Oh, Buffkin, what is it? Okay, I'll let him know. Thanks. Wait, why couldn't he get the glamours yes, again? Was he broke? In your office right now. Bluebeard. Nerissa. Nerissa. Oh, Nerissa. Broad from the pudding and pie. Yes. Apparently, she told Buffkin that she has something she needs to talk to you about. Okay. But that she'll only tell you. What do you think that could be? Uh, Bigby's got an admirer. You always do well with the. Uh, okay. Enough, Colin. She knows something. She's helped me a little with the case. Maybe she has something else. Maybe she does. I should get back to the business office. I've left Buffkin alone for too long taking calls. And I should probably change out of these clothes. Consider the discussion. I got table, you, girl. <laughs> not over. Let me know when you're done with Nerissa. Aye, aye, Captain. Hey, don't don't She's mess with my dude, Colin. Hey, you're not really going to send me to the farm, are you? Heck no. I mean. She seemed real serious about it, but I can still hang out here. Look, uh, maybe a few will get sent up, but you're my friend, Colin. I wouldn't do that to you. Don't worry about it. See, we're buddies. Thanks, Bigby. We just throw friendly banter at each other. Okay, go in the room. Huh, <laughs> the little house in the shoe. Would you go? What up, baby? What up? Hey, hey, skr skr. Hey, hey, skr skr. Hey, hey, skr skr. Yeah, 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 yeah. Episode four in sheep's clothing. Ooh. Hi. How you doing, girl? Sheriff. Hey, baby, what up? How you doing today? Hi, Marissa. I'm chilling. You know how it is. 
And let me close that door. Lock it up. <laughs> Stop. Stop. Oh, she looking good in that dress. Okay, I see you, baby. What up? Spill the beans, girl. I, um, are you okay? Yeah. You didn't look good last night. I wasn't sure you'd be. Well, let's just say I've been better. <coughs> Put the smokes away, son. Ain't nobody want them cheap cigarettes. Right. I don't want them cheap cigarettes. Thanks. So what is it you wanted to talk to me about? I know what you did for me, sending me the open arms. And I think you want to help me again. There's not a lot that I can talk about. Ah, come on. That. Please. So that spell crane was trying to break. It's not just while you're at work. Huh. You didn't even ask anything I off. I don't want to waste your time. But I don't want you wasting your own time either. Back in the okay. dressing room at the pudding and pie, I told you what I was looking for. And you found a way to tell me. You sent me to the open arms. Maybe that'll work again. You can try. I just... Go ahead. Crane wasn't the murderer. The open arms was a setup. You sent me there. Oh, There's someone else you wanted me to find there. My lips are My sealed. Lips are sealed. If I could answer you just like that, I wouldn't have had to make that appointment with you. No, I guess not. Oh gosh. Sometimes we have to find our way through life on our own, grasping and fumbling in the dark. I. I used to have friends to help me find my way, but now... Now you're just a prostitute. And I don't know what to do. Are you trying to say something about Faith and Lily? What I'm saying is friends matter. And okay. I, I don't have any left. What? Girl? So Be good I friends. you're looking after yours. Okay. Are you? Who are you talking about? Are my friends in danger? These lips are sealed. She's about to say that. <sighs> I'm sorry. I thought I could do this. Come on. I need you to know. I want to help, but. Oh my but... gosh. But your lips are sealed. Dang. Great help. Yeah, you're really. An awesome help. Sorry if I'm wasting your time. You are. That's exactly what you're doing. You're wasting my time. Say it. Ribbons. Faith wore one too. Huh? Okay. Do you like it? Love it. Hmm? Do you? How can I? It's a tool to keep you stuck in that life. Subservient. That's why you uh -huh. can't tell me anything. It's the ribbon, isn't it? Take it off. Take off the ribbon. Yo. You mind if I just No! Lips are sealed. What? Yo! You can't. Just stay back. Come on, please. You can't do that. Slow down. It's alright. I'm not gonna do anything. Would that just please, like kill her or something? Don't. Okay, I get it. So the ribbons, if you take them off. Hey. I'm sorry, girl. Who is this? Dang. When finds out I came here. 
Probably snow. Hide under the desk, Listen, would you? Sheriff, can you keep this conversation between us? I got you, girl. I could be in a lot of trouble. I won't tell anyone. Don't worry. Thank you. <laughs> Look at Snow. Oh, she's Sorry, got her things. I just need to talk to the sheriff for a moment. Please excuse us. One minute. I might have a new lead for you, but I don't know how solid it like is. Like you couldn't have talked in private? Lady and Beast called the office just now. They said they wanted to talk to you about something. I wonder if they've heard about Crane. Thank you for listening, Sheriff. You should go on to your next business. I don't think you'll be wasting your time. I, wait, you don't have to go. Hey, no, she gave me a hint. She be dropping them subtle hints. That was... abrupt. It's one way to send a message. What did she tell you? I didn't mean to rush her out. Did you get anything from her? She couldn't really say anything. The magic that Crane was talking about, it's in the ribbon. And you can't take the ribbon off, or... It's how Faith and Lily died. Oh! It okay, just knocks off their head. Good work. Okay! So, about Beauty and Beast, do you think there's something to it? Is this the right place to look? Yes, let's go. What could they know about the Crooked Man? Or do you think they just heard about last night? And they're scared about what's been going on? Well, whatever it is, I'm sure they called for a reason. Let's go. Suppose I better go check it out. Come with me. Hmm. You know, Beauty came to me a while back. What did she say? She was looking for... Financial assistance. Ooh. I told her there was nothing I could do, and and she said that meant she'd have to go somewhere else. That means she, that's where she took the money out from the loan shark, the crooked Wait, man. You don't think she meant that she was going to go to the crooked man, do you? That would explain why they called. We need to solve this before something else happens. Yes, Who let's go. What? Oh. I thought something was going to happen in this elevator. I have other matters to attend to. Okay, see you later. 